Hey guys, welcome back to another art lesson. I hope that you all enjoyed last week's activity. So this video again, like we, like I said last time, this is just for second and third grade. So make sure you're watching the right video. Don't accidentally be watching the fourth or fifth grade or the kindergarten first grade. So to start us off, I'd just like to say thank you again to all of our parents for all of their patient and hard work. Um, we're, we're doing another week of virtual learning. I know that that has to be difficult on all of our parents who are continuing to just uh, accommodate and help our students get the best education possible. Um, we thank you for that and please reach out if you have any uh, concerns with this week's activity or any of the related videos that I've asked you all to watch. Alright, so to get us started, I just want to do a little quick review. Um, last week's activity we did some landscape drawings and then we labeled as many things as we could in that drawing. So you all did a fantastic job on those, but if you, it's, I know since it was a, a short week and we only started on Wednesday, that some of us just didn't get the chance to do art. We usually do it on Monday and Tuesday. So if you didn't get a chance to do last week's activity, just go back and review it. You don't have to do it. We're already on this week, so you don't have to do it. Just review it so that you could be a little bit better prepared for this week's activity. This week's activity is going to directly uh, relate to last week's where we're going to do another landscape drawing, but this one's going to be more guided. I'm going to guide you all through this one. Unfortunately, I don't have the document camera, so I have to switch this web camera over onto a platform so that it can hold up and so you all can see what I'm demonstrating. So I'll have to do a quick period where I switch over. So I'm going to do that real quick. Actually, first, I want to go ahead and say, uh, announce our artists of the month. So I chose these artists from all of the uh, month of October. I looked at, everybody, at all of their work, and uh, they were the ones that just showed the most passion, the most uh, drive for their work, and just tried their very best on everything they could. Now, like I said, it doesn't mean their artwork was the best. There was all plenty of great artwork, but it's that they, every single week they tried their best, and that's what I'm looking for. So, our artists of the month are Tori Saylor, Lawson fin uh, Fannin, Dalton Isaacs, and Molly Smith. So that we so like I said, it's all types of grades. I picked four people, two boys, two girls, and they're all types of grades. You see, I have a, kin, a second grader, a kindergarten, uh, fifth grade, and fourth grade. So uh, Tori Saylor is in your all's grade, so you all should be proud of her and her hard work. And don't worry if you didn't get it. We have plenty of more months. And next month, this month of November, we're going to have a chance for four new ones. But you all, they will get, they're going to get a certificate and a personalized prize for the winners who have received it. So don't worry if you haven't gotten it. Keep up the hard work, and I promise you will get a chance to win Artist of the Month. So let me go ahead and switch our camera over, and we'll get started on this week's activity. All right. All right, so this week's activity, we're focusing on three types of movement in, in, in paintings. So you have sideways movement, swirls, circles, and curves. Now I'll point these out in some of the paintings so you get a better example, but we're going to practice using all four of these in our in our paintings, in our in our drawings. Alright, so you see here in the painting Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. You see right here that this these swirls, now what would you think those represent? I can tell you that they represent wind. They're, it's like a really windy day here in this little town that Mr. Van Gogh's made up. And you can see you got the swirl, the swirl, uh, swir uh curves that were on the the four examples right here and then you have the, the circles for the, around the stars and then you have lines all the way through the mountains so he uses all four of those examples in his painting the starry night now for our example we he also likes to do a lot of sunset drawings and that's actually what today's activity is about so you can see here here's another sunset painting of his where uh, you got people working on the in the field and you have it's the sun and it's going down so it's a sunset uh, drawing so that's what we're going to do today and we're going to incorporate all four of these type of movements sideways lines swirls circles and curves the reason why is because if you look at this this painting starry night it looks like it's moving it looks like this this is going in that direction it looks like the sun's kind of shaking a little bit it's because he does that so it creates movement in the painting and that's what it's called and that's one of our that's our only vocabulary word this week is movement. And so here's another example. And this is another one where someone is work out working in the field, and you can see that the sun's setting, and he uses all types of movement in this painting. So that's what today this week's activity is all about. 
let me show you for example all right so here's one that I, I've drawn real quickly for you all and you can see so the first thing that you all will do is you're gonna draw a line right across the, the center of your page the reason why you're gonna do that is because this is the sky this is the ground so the grounds down here this is the sky so the Sun is setting see how close it is to the ground it's setting now there's my circle lines right there so they're all going in a circle there's my wind for the the curves and then I have the I have them down here to show the different types and then I have lines to go through so that means I'm using all four types so I even label them here's one type two three and four so there's all the four types of movement that Mr. Van Gogh uses in his paintings that we're going to use in our drawings. Now this is one I've already come up with, but I'm actually going to do a quick demonstration so that you all can do your own and know exactly what I'm asking you all to do. So first, I'm going to draw a quick line. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because remember land isn't always straight. So you got a line across the middle and then my sun right here. Now it doesn't have to be in the middle. Your sun can be over here or over here. And then I'm going to start by making my circles around the sun to make it make it look like the sun rays. You know how if you look at the sun, it looks like the sun is shining bright, so the sun rays. So there's my circle lines. All right, and for the wind, you do just a squiggle like that and like that. There you go, and I'll do another one over here so it makes it look like it's really windy outside. So... And you can add details to those by going through and adding little lines because that's what Mr. Vincent Van Gogh does. All right. And so there you go. And now if I want to show that my this is grass, I can do these type of sideways lines. And I can do a bunch of them. You can do them all kinds of them. For, you can do them as long as you want, as many as you want. All right. And if I wanted to make, let's say I wanted to make uh, it a river down here. Well, then that's when I would use the curve lines. And you, you don't have to use them all in the way I'm showing. These are just some of the examples. You can use them all types. Now that you have this, what I want you all to do is you're going to create your own sunset drawing, and you're going to create the, the separate the land from the sky with a line across the middle, and then you're going to use all four types of movement. I want you to label them like we did. So let me pull up our page here. All right, so we have. Here's our four types. So we have side, ways, lines. Then we have swirls. Then we have curves. And then we have circles. And that's right here with our sun. So all these types of line to create movement. And you're going to label them, and then you're you're free to add all the details you want. You can add a house if you want. You can add a road with a car on it if that's what you want. All these things are up to you. But the first thing that you have to have is the sun setting, and I want you to have these four types of movement. And you can see them right here again. I'll label them again for us. We got one, two, three, four. And I want you to use all four types of those in your very own drawing. And that's this week's activity. Let me switch back to camera. All right, so that's this week's activity. Um, have fun with it. Take, take your time on it so that we can get all four types of movement so you can really understand what Mr. Van Gogh does in his paintings because that's what this is all about is learning a little bit more about Mr. Van Gogh. All right, so that's it for this week's activity, and I'll see you all next time.